we feel as though by creating this space for them to study, we would attract young students into the profession and therefore help, again, not just the education system, but the healthcare system as well. For years, Dawson College has been planning an expansion of its medical technology department, an expansion that would include a clinic open to the community in downtown Montreal, where students would be trained. But this has come to a halt after the Quebec government recently revised course. The $100 million promised to the school in 20 20 will instead go towards French language CGEPs, they say. But Monday, the Minister of Higher Education, Danielle McCann, said it's a question of budget, not a language discrimination. The real issue is that there is a space deficit. And so um, in using the ministry approved norms, there's an equation that you uh, that you use that you it was determined that we're shy 11,000 square meters. So about seven years ago, the conversation started to happen regarding providing Dawson with this space that students are owed to study uh, equitably across the CGIP network. I'm tremendously disappointed that the message we seem to be receiving is that the need is there, the plan is there, the money is there, but we can't use it because the language in, of instruction at Dawson College is not the right language. McCann said that the provincial government needs to consider that there will be over 20,000 more Francophone students going to CGEPs in the next five years, adding that a choice had to be made and they also have to protect Montreal's French language, she says. This is really just to correct a space deficit, this project, and not to add um, additional capacity. So it was really unfortunate um, to hear that from uh, the CAT government. If this was a project that was happening in a Francophone CGEP, I don't believe that there would suddenly be a budgetary issue. The new facility at Dawson would provide the up-to-date training to future healthcare workers in Quebec, promoting the professions to prospective students who could fill critical jobs. The only thing I can add at this point is to call upon the CAQ government and Mr. Legault to do what they were elected to do and to be the representatives in the government of all Quebecers. The higher education ministry met with college officials asking them to work on alternative options such as renting temporary space, something the CGEP has been doing. In the spring, a final decision will be made whether or not the expansion is a go. It's what the students are owed to study equitably across, the, across Quebec uh, at the CGEP level. So it's sort of uh, confuses us and we're saddened by the decision because it just seemed like a like a situation that satisfied a bunch of different boxes. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News.